This is turkey neck. Today we're going to make turkey neck brown stewed. So okay, this is the turkey neck. So now what we're going to do is cut it in some small pieces. Say as small as this, quarter piece, quarter, quarter piece in length. So you use a knife and a hammer. So after you cut the pieces, after you cut the turkey neck to pieces, add water, we're going to rinse it. Add a tablespoon of white vinegar, then wash it, wash it, wash it, make sure it's clean. Now this is what it look like after rinse. So it look clean and pretty. Now we're going to pressure it for 5 minutes. Put to eat a pressure cooker. First put the stove on high. Add oil. Add 2 garlic cloves. After a minute, add the turkey. Then, then add the browning. Stove on high, just stir it in. After about a minute, add the water. Now, this is a pressure cooker. You gotta make sure that this is on properly and this is the rubber that you put inside. Just make sure it's flushed. The pressure cooker cover. And then you put it on like this. See? Here, here. And then you do this and it's sealed. I don't see the big deal in using a pressure cooker. Pressure cooker, pressure cooker save your gas. So I love using a pressure cooker. Because if I wasn't using a pressure cooker, I would have to cook this for about an hour and a half. So you just leave this and keep the stove on high. Once it starts to whistle, then you start your timing. It took, two, it took five minutes to start whistle. So now that it start whistling, put the stove on put the stove on low for five minutes. Put the stove on low for five minutes. The ingredients are 
two stacks of scallions, two stacks of scallion, three medium sized onions, dice twelve garlic cloves, a piece of thyme cut to the size of one finger, one ripe scotch bonnet pepper, half green scotch bonnet pepper, half a teaspoon of pimento seed, one tablespoon of parsley, dried parsley, one tablespoon of dried basil, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of oregano, see that? If I'm pronouncing it right. One teaspoon of marjoram. Marjoram. Six whole cloves. Six whole cloves. This is dried rosemary. Be sure it's fine. Just grind it up as fine. Just grind it up as fine as possible. So this is one teaspoon of rosemary, one tablespoon of sea salt, piece of ginger to half the size of your thumb, half the size of your thumb, a piece of ginger, quarter cup of coconut oil, one tablespoon of white vinegar, quarter cup of ketchup, three cups of water. Now, after the five minutes, I turned it off and it took 20 minutes to cool. Once this is done, this little thing, once this is done, it's okay to remove it. Don't ever take this up like this while it's cooling because the flavor will come out through here. So look, it's okay, you can take it off now. So you just remove it. So this is what it looks like after five minutes. So turn the stove back on, on I. Add all the seasoning. After a minute, once it comes to a boil, less than a minute, put the stove on four and cover it and leave it. That's four. So it's been 30 minutes. I'm going to open this for the first time. Out. This is what it looks like. So now we're going to add the ketchup for the last five minutes. Let's add the ketchup. So turn the stove up for the last two or three minutes and let's let it cook out. So this is it. And a tip, if you want to make it, it thicker, just leave it uncovered and just let it get thick and stew just like this, it will get thick. This is turkey, turkey neck, it's turkey neck brown stewed.
Browns to turkey neck. Browns to turkey neck. 